Howdy everybody, Keith Warren, and thanks for watching this video brought to you by Barber Creek, America's premier shooting school. All right, so we're out here on a tactical mission. And that mission is to shoot the right deer. And the right deer is either an ultra mature buck or a buck that Aaron just doesn't want in the herd, an eight point or maybe a non-typical funky guy. I'm wanting to take my time and be real careful, make a good decision. That buck before, he was nice, but he was right on that borderline as far as age. And, um, you know, I talked with Aaron and Aaron said, smoke him if you got him. So if he shows back up, he is tossed. But when you're aging deer, a very important thing to take into consideration is your geographical location, you know, where you are on the map. Because these northern deer are so much bigger than your southern deer in Texas. Everything's kind of different size, so mature bucks have specific attributes that you'll be able to pick up on. But that being said is, you know, when you get a big old Oklahoma buck that's two years old and he's the same size as a six-year-old whitetail in Texas, it'll kind of mess you up. Let me tell you about this rest. This is a coat figure rest and it's useful in many other situations. But if you're self-filming, this thing is the bomb because it is difficult to self-film and get the gun on the deer and hit record and make sure your camera and your gun are pointed at the deer and that the deer's not moving. So the fact that that gun just sits there like it's in a vise, that is a huge help. So what we're doing out here is we are not rushing. We are taking our time and we're here to take the right deer. And I gotta think that old owl is up there looking down on us and hopefully he's gonna send us a big old heavenly buck. So we'll see. Girls are starting to show up. They're looking at something. I don't know what they're looking at. Now I'm sitting in the tank blind and out walks this nine point. Now I've already got pre-approval from Aaron on this deer, so I know he's good to go. But the fact of the matter is this guy is moving quick. I'm self-filming. He's a little bit out there and I don't want to rush the shot. So I'm going to play it safe. Hope this deer comes back and let him walk. Well, let me tell you something. I have a lot of appreciation for this blind, especially when I'm self-filming, because Aaron's got these new windows. I think they're like 36 inches wide. I can pretty much see 360 all the way around with very minimal blind spots. As far as self-filming goes, I can fit that camera out the window, my gun out the window, and then if I wanted to do something with the pistol, I could still put the pistol out the window and shoot out the left side, because I have that much space. So. These things are bad to the bone. Best hunting blind on the market. Got us a little button buck that just showed up. It doesn't really do anything for us, but it's good to be seeing deer. Couple deer getting a little saucy. It's pretty cool. Temperaments are flared. Now we just need a couple big bucks to come in here and do that. So I'm sitting in the tank blind and deer starts showing up. And one of the deer is a nice little 10 point. Real pretty buck, he'll be a good deer one day. Exactly what we're trying to let continue on into old age. Not a deer I'm gonna shoot right now. So I'm watching this little 10 point and instantly his body language changes. He looks off into the distance and I can just tell by looking at him, he's got his eyes set on another deer. And me, I think it's a buck. What are you looking at, buddy? Someone else coming in? Tiger's looking hard. Got a bigger deer coming in. Looks to be more mature. Now, sure enough, I look to my right and here comes a big pig bodied deer. Clearly, this deer is running the roost and clearly he's one that I need to take out. So I'm looking at a deer right now, he's mature. He is the exact definition of a management deer. He's a little scraggly. He should be much bigger antler wise than he is. There is no decision making process here. This buck. He's gotta go. We're just gonna wait and see. I'm gonna take my time. There's no need to rush it. No need at all. Cool looking deer though. Big old chest on him. You can tell he's running things around here. I take my time, get the rifle on him, get the camera on him. Now this guy must catch wind of something because he starts heading out of the field. But I'll be dang if I'm gonna let him get out of here alive. He's moving away. Boom. 
we got a nice buck down. That is not the biggest deer I've ever shot, okay? But that doesn't matter because that was the right deer to shoot. That was so cool. I love it out here in Oklahoma. All right, everybody, check this guy out. Now, some of you might be saying, you know, that ain't quite a monster buck. Well, you'd be right. But this was the right deer to take. He's got a big old body on him, really big body. He's probably at least four years old and his antlers just aren't doing much. He's kind of trying to be a 10 point here, but they're kind of scraggly and this is the best he's ever gonna be. So this was the right deer to take out of the herd and the exact definition of a management buck. And I'll tell you what, look what that Sierra Game Changer did to him. He was a little quartered away and this is the exit and it just went right through him perfectly. I accounted for him being quartered and it came out in the perfect spot and he did not go far at all. Did you see him tip over? I love the video of him just tipping over like bam, he was KO'd. That was awesome. And the important thing is, is it doesn't matter if it's a monster buck or a turkey or a management buck. My heart gets going the same way every single time. Um, he was pretty much dead to rights when he walked in with that setup, that co-figure and that proof. That is a huge help to my self-filming. And so is the tank blind. I mean, having that big 36 inch window, I mean, it's just like a night and day difference to any other blind. So it was an awesome hunt and I've got to devote it to our man upstairs, Big Al, who is not here with us. And it's been tough not having him here because he was just such a joy to be around. Regardless, I know that he's up there looking down on us and he's gonna be sending bucks our way. So this one's for Big Al. Howdy everybody, Keith Warren here for Barber Creek, America's premier long range hunting and shooting school. Barber Creek is one of America's top long range instructors and life-size animal targets out to a thousand yards. Enjoy a climate controlled classroom and shoot house. Luxurious lodging and four course meals as you train with fellow outdoorsmen. Our level two master course puts you in real hunting positions off a of tripod, bipod, and backpacks with 25 life-size animal targets from 340 yards out to 1,670 yards on six stations. You'll become confident shooting at angles, reading wind and terrain, and shooting across valleys. When that once in a lifetime shot only comes once, you can't afford to miss. Contact Barber Creek at 334-845-0000.